<laughs> All right, guys, we're ready with my mom right now. Say hi, mom. Hi. So, Lauren, tonight we're going to try to make the fastest dinner possible. Oh, my goodness. We have a lot of hungry people around here. Well, yes, 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 especially George, yes. my dog. Yes, George. And it's his uh, four-year heart surgery anniversary today. Very exciting. Bravo. Yes, George. Yay. Yes. Congratulations, Georgie. Congratulations, George. All right, we're in the kitchen right now. And what do you need for chicken cutlets, Mommy? Okay, I... First of all, you need the chicken. You need the chicken. Yeah. All right. Now, the chicken I already soaked a little bit in, in uh, salt water. So, salt water. Okay. Yeah. So, the first thing we're going to do is crack an egg. Ooh. Okay. And uh, dip them in the egg. Dip them in the egg. Yeah. All right. So, we are making chicken cutlets. And my mom is starting first with the first step, cracking an egg. Very simple. Just throwing that shell in the sink. And beating it a little bit. Yes. And I think we'll put a little milk, maybe. A little yeah, milk? Yeah, okay, I'll get the milk. Just stretch it out a little bit. Yes. Yeah. So back in New York. Uh, came back unexpectedly, but have to go back to LA very soon. It's, it's, I've been back and forth so many times. It's crazy. How much milk, Mom? Uh, just pour a little and All I'll right. see when. Okay. More. Yeah. A little more. Okay, good. All right. Perfect. All right, why do you add the milk? Does it help stretch it? It'll stretch it out a little bit, yeah, because I don't want to use any more than one egg. Uh-huh. Oh, George is waiting patiently. My dog. Okay. Yeah, my brother's birthday's today. Wow. Lots of birthdays. Oh, she's moving it because she's got to get, I had the phone rested <laughs> on the breadcrumbs. Is that going to be okay? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, now she's, is it, what kind, is it Italian breadcrumbs or what kind of breadcrumbs? Well, do these like are plain. I, I really, plain. I like the ones that are mixed. I don't have those right now. So I'm, I'm going to put my own stuff in it. So it's right. okay. Now, the hardest thing is trying to decide how much breadcrumbs. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's perfect. And uh -huh. I, now this is a panko. Panko. Why? You like the panko better? You mix them together? I mix it because the panko is crunchier. Oh. Yeah, it's a little crunch. Okay. Oh, George left. <laughs> said, I, I can't wait for this. They're talking to themselves again. <laughs> now, let's flavor it up a little bit. And we'll put some. Show everybody what you're using, Mommy. I love this. Oh, garlic pepper. I From, got that Dollar Tree. This Dollar Tree. Yeah. So whenever you go there, you have to remember to get me more of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because I, I can't get this uh, anywhere. Oh. Does it have salt in it or no? It has a salt. Yeah, it has salt. It has salt. All right. Let's and see. then this is lemon pepper. Oh. Give it a little bit of lemon flavor. Uh-huh. I had the the lemon uh, panko somewhere, but I don't know what happened to that. So we'll add it now. Oh, some parsley. Parsley. George, out of that bag. He's really going into <laughs> George is very hungry. I feel so bad because I usually, I do try to feed him at 6 o'clock. So we're just going to see. It's almost 6, so we got to see how long. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, guys, you hear us still? All right. Let Excuse us know me. if you hear us still. Thank you for joining. Oh, I can't believe I'm low on, on my uh, <laughs> mixing stuff. <laughs> I know, yeah, you didn't have any uh, spoons left. <laughs> How did we do that? Okay, so now she's just mixing it all in with the breadcrumbs. Just making it look really pretty. Let me move the phone and show you guys how it looks. Ooh. Yeah, this is beautiful. our own concoction. Yes. Now you also can... What's can, up, Mike? How are you? You could dip it in flour first, but I'm gonna leave that step out because. Yeah, I got back in last night, so. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put the some of the chicken in mm. the, into the egg. egg. Yeah, we'll put All one, right. two. Oh, these are small pieces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Oh, Glenn Nunley said hi, Joanne. Hi. 
So good to see you guys. And just we'll dip it in here a little bit. Mike, I haven't even been home. I haven't been home yet. I will open, <laughs> I want to open the box you sent me on camera. So I'm supposed to go back to LA next week and I will do it there. I actually do have a box here that I need to open, but I have to figure out what I'm going to say. So maybe tomorrow we'll do an unboxing of that box. Maybe tomorrow I'll find what I'm after. <laughs> okay. I think that dipped a, a little bit long enough. And then we're going to Put it into the breadcrumbs. Ooh. I'll do two at a time. Now, any uh, tips for getting it in the breadcrumbs without getting the I usually, sometimes at the end, the breadcrumbs don't really get around it. Well, the beginning is okay because there's a lot of them. Uh -huh. you know, there's a lot of breadcrumbs. So mm -hmm. it's just patting it down and mm -hmm. getting the one side first is what I usually do. Uh-huh. The little, I hear the crunchiness of the panko. Yeah. And then I'm going to turn it over. Uh-huh. Oh. oh. See, that did good. Happy December, Andrew. Yeah, I'm sorry, Matt, uh, Mike. I didn't know where I was going to be. I, I've been working a lot, guys, which is good, uh, but I haven't been able to do as many live streams and stuff. So, yeah. Mackenzie, I'm doing multi-streaming multi now, so I can't add you now, but next time... Hope you're well. Good to see you. Just with my mom making chicken cutlets right now, and they look really yummy. Okay. And then, well, before I move those, I'm going to stick some more. Stick some more in there. In here, yeah. Oh, it's going to be a quick one. Now, are we going to make the salad after? Um, guess what? What? I have the salad made already. Oh, you made it already? Last night, I, well, I, I, didn't, I just did all the um, putting, I, I have to put the, uh, what do you call it then? The dressing on it. Nice. But, um, yeah. A lot of our, my things are prepared already because I made rice yesterday. And because um, I wasn't sure what time Lauren was going to get here. So, uh, but I have the rice made already. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, but I'm going to doctor that up too. Gotcha. Oh, Andrew, exciting. I love Doctor Who. It's such a, that's such a great show. I'm just a little disappointed the size of these. Okay. Because I, I mean, I, I know your father oh, probably won't. Poor Mike, the mechanic, said he's watching us cook, but he happens to be fasting. Why are you fasting? Is it, are you just on a diet? Is it a holiday today that I don't know about? <laughs> oh. Just... I know you're very good at, at losing weight. I, I need to, to follow your diets. Looks yummo. Yeah. Let's see. Hi, ladies. Hey, Dee Thompson. We are just making some chicken cutlets right now, and I'll show you what they look like. I'm hungry. Yes, so is George. Oh, my mom's wearing her 50-year anniversary for her dance school. Yes. Wow. How is that? This is the big, exciting year. Uh-huh. Oh, Mike is fasting two days a week. Is that supposed to be good? I don't know. <laughs> 50 years, Mom. What are you guys doing for your 50th anniversary for the dance studio? What's up, Dan Wilcox? Got your ring on, Dan Wilcox Designs. If anyone needs beautiful jewelry, he makes the most beautiful silver jewelry at Dan Wilcox Designs. Oh, does your mom still do Zoom voice lessons? Are you doing any Zoom voice lessons, Mommy? No, um, no, I haven't been doing anything Zoom. Uh, everything's in the studio now. Oh, well, next time you visit New York, Mackenzie. <laughs> I know you and your parents travel a lot, so that's good. Oh, Byron said, and depending if you're working out, I need to, to be working out. It's winter now, though, so, you know. I said two times a week. I didn't mean two times. I, I meant two times a month. Gotcha. Uh -oh. Yeah. How long do you fast for? Does it work? Is it something I should? I don't think I could die. I don't think I'd be able to fast. I, I can't do it. No, because yeah. I I'd get too hungry. Yeah. I have to eat a um, certain amount of hours or, yeah. or I start having acid reflux. Oh, I just get dizzy. I'm like, I need my food. 
I think I get like low blood sugar where I'm just like, okay. Okay, I'm getting there, right. baby. So I, why do some people put flour on it before? Well, that gives it an even extra um, thickness to it. Oh. But I, but I was thinking, no, it's okay. It's. Mm -hmm. I mean, white flour is not the best for you. Everybody says mm -hmm. no white flour, no flour, and I don't have any wheat flour. So. Oh, I gotta buy wheat flour. I did buy more of that peanut butter though for George's uh, dog treats. Oh my goodness! I yeah. I know he loved those. Yeah. And they're so easy to make. Yes, Mackenzie it was so cool to see you, and you got to meet George. That was awesome. That was so cool. Too bad I I couldn't I didn't bring George to Baltimore for the Web Fest. He stayed with my parents. Oh my goodness. Byron, Byron said Christmas is in 22 days. Oh, golly. I'm wow. not ready. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't realize. Guys, what should I get for my parents? My dad came down the stairs today and he said he didn't need anything. <laughs> what are some good Christmas gifts for guys? Let me know. I know a lot of there's more men on here than women. What are some good Christmas gifts for guys? Also, what are good Christmas gifts for my mom? What should I get mom? What do you want for Christmas? All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Well, if you needed those, Mom, I'd be very, I'd be very worried. I'd be like, oh, I got a very expensive dental appointment coming up. Got to go to Dr. Madahi in Beverly Hills because those cosmetic dentistry. Oh my that's, goodness, that's yeah. expensive. That's real expensive. Uh, Look at this. Not bad. Yeah. I think. I think it looks good. Glenn, Nun Glenn Nunley, I'm doing good. And I, Steve, I'm sorry I haven't been live streaming so much. I've just been so busy. I was working on a movie and now I'm about to do a crowdfunding for another movie. So excited about that, that uh, my friend Brad Grumberg is producing. So going to be really excited. Um, oh, Blitz Boozer said, get get man the man's clothing brand, Old Guys Rule. And... Oh, what is that? Is that? I guess it's clothes for older men. It's printed on there. Like I don't know. I gotta look. Oh, buy your dad some re renovation tools. A wrench. I think he has a wrench. In, he had a big wrench in the car when he picked me up at the airport. I said, "What is this?" As I got into the driver's seat, the passenger seat, it was like this giant wrench. And he said, "What are you doing?" I think he needs a drill, though, Mike. You might know some tools my dad needs. I don't know. <laughs> He, he definitely no matter does. what you buy him, yeah. he he doesn't know where they are. Yeah, that's the problem, because there were Christmases every single Christmas I bought a whole series of screwdrivers. I bought the one that you unfold and yeah. has everything in it every Christmas, and he always says, "Where's my screwdriver?" Oh boy, yeah, I gotta I gotta find. Glad you're working. You need a big break. Yeah, I want to go to a tropical island or something. That's what I want. <laughs> well, weird. Florida was nice and warm last week. It was yeah. it was 85 degrees all nice. week. Oh, Mackenzie said, my dad's like that, too. He loses all his tools. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, okay. It's a, it's a thing. That it's has, a man thing. It's okay. a man thing. Okay. But do you know what happened? I have my little tools right at my front desk. A, a man came in. He said, Oh, could I, do you have a, a Phillips screwdriver? I'm, I'll bring it right back. I'll bring it right back. And and uh, he was so happy I had. Did I had, he bring it back? Yeah, he brought it right back. What did he need it for? I don't know. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> just I, some random guy knocked on the door and asked And for I it. just kept, and I kept saying, oh, no, he better bring that back. Your father's going to get so mad. Because it was like a, looked like an antique thing. Yeah. Oh, come to Australia. I would love to go. I never have been. Have you ever been to Australia, Mom? No. Yeah, I've never been to Australia. That sounds fun. All right, now I'm watching my mom. Now, what are you doing with the spare, the rest of the breadcrumbs? You're using them. Look. I'm trying. She's taking them off and she's patting them on. I'm just doing random. Uh-huh. So, hopefully, they'll, they'll be okay. Okay, now this I'm going to... Unfortunately, I can throw this out. Oh. <coughs> oh, I wonder if we could cook the egg or no. Do no, because it's got the raw chicken. Oh, but then wouldn't it, it, wouldn't it cook? If, it, if you cooked it, wouldn't it kill any salmonella? Well, I don't know how long it would have to cook. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so I just rinsed both of my dishes. So okay. So we don't have too much of a mess. All right. 
Well, now the frying part. Yeah. Time to fry. Yeah, we're going to. Um, warm Is that George up. barking? George. He's doing. Hopefully, it's not going in bags. Even where is he? Where are you, George? So I'm gonna warm the oil up a little bit. George, what are you doing? Done. I hear you. And while we're warming up the oil for a few minutes, I'm going to cut some onion because I want to dress up my rice a little bit. I'm gonna put onions and soy sauce and the rice so i'm gonna where did he have have a chocolate cookie in this bag he ate it i think so it's not in here anymore okay 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 we're live streaming yeah we're live <laughs> Did he go into this bag? Was he in this one? In this one? No. Was it a big cookie? Um, like a Girl Scout cookie, like the peanut butter ones. It was a fake peanut butter one. Oh, a fake one? Yeah. Oh, hopefully it's okay. Oh, boy. George, I hear you. You want your chicken. You want your chicken too. Oh, she's cooking an onion. Cutting an onion. Yeah, this I'm, I'm making for the rice because I'm going to oh, dress the rice up. That sounds good. Is there any plain rice for George? Yeah, I'm going to give him plain rice. Okay. I don't really like cutting on glass, but <laughs> yeah, a little noisy, but it's okay. Everyone said, hi, George. You hungry, George? Yeah, sure. Oh, my Georgie. Okay. Okay, George. Relax. Okay, so... I'm, I'm warming up the oil. Oh my, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> These are fresh onions. <laughs> Is there any vegetables we can have for George? Or no vegetables? Um, well, ri the rice and uh, I don't know, can you have spinach? I'm making spinach. Yeah, I can have some spinach. Alexa, can dogs eat spinach? Spinach is not considered poisonous to dogs. However, you should always check with your veterinarian before feeding your pet any new food. Is the Christmas tree up yet? I have to find where my father stored it. He is, he just, I'm going to go in the attic, I think, after this live stream. And maybe we'll do a live tomorrow of us uh, putting some stuff on it. We'll see. We will see. Thank you for watching. I'm excited to be watching you, Lauren, Francesca, and Mom in the kitchen cooking. Thank you, Marvin. Good to see you guys. Please share this. Please share my stream if you can. I appreciate it. Um, we're here right now, just hanging out, hanging out in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, mom, what's going on? Uh, I'm heating up the oil. Oh, I'm I want to see Mackenzie. And I'm heating the oil for the um, for the chicken, right? How long do you? Oh, you put a lot of oil in there. How long do you normally heat it for? Oh, about three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Now, can you reuse that oil after you put it in there or no? After yes, I, I try to, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I, no, this is going to, this is probably going to. Oh. My hands are wet. I probably dripped with water. So it's ready. <laughs> Remember, never put water in, in, in the. In oil. Yeah. Cooked hot oil. Okay. Let's see. I think it's ready. All right. Here, wait. We're going to show you guys. We gonna show you the chicken dropping into the thing. Ooh. One, Ooh. Two. Ooh. How long do you cook them for? Uh, I'm gonna do four minutes on each side. I'm gonna use a really little. This reminds me of a Netflix scene. What what kind of Netflix scene? A cooking show? 
or a horror movie. <laughs> All right. Alexa, set the timer for four minutes. Four minutes. She knows me. Oh, she does know you. Alexa, do you know my who I am? I'm talking to Lauren. Oh, wow. She knows she's talking to Lauren. That's spooky. Yeah. That's really spooky. AI, guys. Did you guys, oh. SNL this week, they made fun of... They made a lot of funny AI sketches. I don't know if you guys watched that. I was watching it. I think Emma Stone was hosting, which was cool to see. My favorite sketch, I think, that she played a, a music producer. It was so funny. It was really, really funny. George, what do you want? Now I'm also going to put the spinach up. Oh, spinach. Okay. Is that for George or for everyone? It's for everybody. Okay. But you want to put salt or butter in it, right? Um, are you already there? Or? No, I didn't put anything in it. Okay. Um, I'm hungry again. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How long are you cooking for? Oh, uh, that's six minutes. Six minutes. Alexa, set a timer for six minutes for spinach. Spinach timer. Six minutes. Starting now. Okay. I kind of started, so that was good. She fixed it. I love you, girl. Thank you, Robin. Robin, is that how I spell your name? What's up, Chuck Love? How are you? So we'll, what I'll do is I'll take George's uh, out first. Okay. So, and then I'll put the uh, garlic. Because I want to put garlic. But he's going to have garlic, right? Yeah. Um, let me see. Where is his rice I have in a separate dish? Because... Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Ooh. You put the, leave the plastic on it? Yeah. No, don't do that. Nope. No. Okay. Is that totally plain? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to get any. I don't, they say that the, it's okay, but you know, I don't know. Okay. You know what I heard from this lady that black containers that you get from restaurants put the, uh, the cancerous chemicals in your food. Did you know that? The black ones. Um, what do you mean? Black, 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 yeah, black leftover containers. And that's oh. why I had George's leftovers in. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. I'll have to Google that. I don't know. Yeah. Alexa, is it true that black food containers are bad? Black food containers are not inherently bad. However, black plastic containers, especially those used for packaging or toys, may contain harmful chemicals. To avoid potential health risks, it's advisable to choose food containers made of appropriate materials and avoid black plastic containers. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I think it's because of the coloring, right? Or what do you think, Mommy? Probably. Oh, where are you putting those onions now? In the rice. Oh, but so you put it in a separate pan? Uh -huh. Oh, greetings, pilgrims. Yes. Oh, mom, when are we gonna cook that turkey you guys got from Shoprite? You know, it's <laughs> yeah, it's something like if you spend a certain amount of money at Shoprite, they give you a free turkey. So my dad goes crazy when that happens, and they save food for like months so they can get their free turkey. <laughs> Did you guys, when are we cooking it? Are we cooking for Christmas? Oh, probably Christmas. Christmas. Nice. Nice. So do you want to go back to Florida or no? How was Florida? It was warm. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I have to see because um, my granddaughter has her birthday. Oh. December 26th. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Oh. Okay, that's the Alexa, stop. Okay, so I can turn the chicken. Time to turn the chicken. Hold on, wait. Whoa. Oh, wow. That. Perfect. Alexa, set the timer for four minutes. Oh. Set the timer. Four minutes. Starting now. Ooh, the onions look good. So, how what's the what's the secret, Mom, to cooking good onions? Um, well, I don't want to know what you mean by good. I'm not like um, just uh, not to burn them. <laughs> yeah, not to burn them and not to undercook them. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I do it by uh, visual. Oh, 
you know, like, as soon as I see that, and, and also that they soften, yeah, because your father cooks onions a lot of times to put in the eggs, and, and he burns them, and then <laughs> they don't look, then the eggs don't look very pretty. Mm-hmm. Alexa, is it dangerous to eat burnt food? Here's what I found. Meat is considered safe for birds if given in moderation. No! However, you should always check with your veterinarian before feeding your pet any new food. Alexa, (laughs) is it dangerous to cook burnt food? To eat burnt food, that's what I meant. Alexa, is it dangerous to eat burnt food? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, it's long been known that just overheating, let alone burning some foods, can lead to the formation of compounds linked to cancer. These carcinogenic compounds include heterocyclic amines and so-called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. That sounds sounds dangerous. Another fork? I Ah, I don't know what happened to this stream. I don't know. Yeah. We're not here anymore. It's not working. Thank you, Glenn Nunley. I switched it. There we go. Dangerous times. George looks great, rough, rough. I know it's his four year heart surgery anniversary. I remember I was dating someone at the time and they said, you're gonna spend that much money on your dog. He's only gonna live for a few more years. It's me or the dog. He, He thought two years, he thought it would give him. So I'm like four years. I wanna be like, look, (laughs) <laughs> so you know of course i broke up with him but <laughs> george is uh doing good very happy the onions are cooking and i'm gonna throw the rice in okay with the onions that's smart yeah all right oh the timer is off mom what was that timer for was that the spinach timer what did she say well she's uh got about to start doing it oh your spinach timer is done okay let me check all right the check the spinach Thank you guys. Thanks, Robin. Alexa, Alexa, stop. <laughs> Chicken looks good. Did the re- did the right thing? Yes. You know, totally worth it. Totally worth it, my baby. Right, baby? He's like, yes. But when is my food gonna be ready? I'm hungry. Oh boy. Mm. All right. I am just in the kitchen with my mom. We just cooked some chicken cutlets. We have 30 more seconds on the chicken cutlet timer. They're almost, the first batch is almost done. Do you need a, a plate, mom? Uh, yes, I will. I'll show them. Ooh, a pretty plate. Thank you guys. Hey, Dale. So good to see you guys. Please share this stream. Well, this doesn't look, this looks like there's something in this rice. No, no, that was just a little sauce from the, um, when I took it out. You like to stop. Huh? It tastes a little salty. You did put salt in it or butter? Um, I don't remember. That was, uh, I, cause I had plain, plain rice with something the other night. Mm. Is it too salty for him? I don't know. I think it's okay a little bit. George's poos have been too li- liquidy, so his vet said to put some rice in his food. Oh, James said, need some mozzarella sauce. What is your name? I'm Lauren. <laughs> You're watching me, you don't know my name. <laughs> oh, the other timer. Alexa, stop. Pet Apollo. Yo, sup. What up, Pet Apollo? How are you? I love, mo- you know, mom, it was so funny. We were at my friend's house, and they were cooking pasta. And George, I had fed him, but when he smells that tomato sauce, he is definitely an Italian dog. He was going nuts, and he's just barking. I walked him. I gave him water. I'm like, what's wrong, George? What do you want? And when, as soon as I gave him, like, some of my leftover pasta, <laughs> he, was, he, he was just like, that's what I wanted. He wanted pasta. He's a funny dog. And I mix the spinach in with that uh, rice. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hold on. We're going to show everybody what you're doing. Was there any salt or butter on the spinach? I don't know. I don't put anything on this. Good. Because I was going to wait because you said you uh, warned me right before. 
Good, good, yes. Very uh, plain for George. Not so much for us. Although my mom does, you put, I think basil and parsley is okay for dogs. And she, when she cooks some chicken, she puts the, the, the parsley on there. Is that enough? Yeah, to put like another teaspoon in there. This isn't really a teaspoon. No. Uh, whatever. Yeah, put another spoon in there, and we'll just mix it, and, and we'll, we we won't have all that today. He'll just have it a little, you know, okay. together. Do you want to do one more spoonful? Do another spoonful. No, I'll mix it up and see. Yeah. You think it's enough? Do an, I, I think, yeah, do one more. And then and we'll have it for a few days, you know. Ooh. I have to get that chicken out. Oh, okay. that's right, yeah. Oops. Oops, oops, there's George. One more you spoon. Gave me, gave me the, <laughs> this is the clean dish. Yeah, that's a clean dish. Oh, you guys want to see the chicken? She's going to, she's taking it out now. Using a big fork. Oh, it looks delicious. Ooh. Hey, Robin. Yes, the, the trees that I brought inside, they look good, Mom. You think they're happy? Yeah. The you I, I think so. Yeah, I think, you know what, they like being together like this. Yeah, they're happy. They're friends. Okay, I'm going to put the next, uh... The next batch in? Yeah. I, well, All I right. think there's only two, right? Ooh. Yeah, let me uh, show everybody your tree. You can turn that one over. It looks better. Okay. Ooh, so pretty. Do you put, like, a paper towel over it, or what do no, you do? No, it's all right. I think it'll be okay. Oh, thanks so much, Steve Tenley and Glenn Nunley. Steve Tenley sent me stars. Thank you so much, Glenn Nunley sent me stars. I appreciate you. I love the stars. Alexa, set the timer for four minutes. Four minutes, starting. Four oh. minutes, starting now. Okay, looks great. Yes, I am multi-streaming right now, so I'm not co-hosting. Um, now, I'm gonna, I want to cut out just a little bit of garlic to put that to finish. Somebody said his dead grandmother cooks better. I'm sure she did. All of our grandmothers were very good cooks. Yes, very, very good cooks. I miss my grandmothers very, very much. They made some really cool things. <laughs> but my mother is very good. So don't, my mother, don't insult my mother's cooking. <laughs> um, very delicious. Oh, what's up, guys? You're a star, said James. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. Um, Kendall, I'm not doing co-hosting today, but maybe another day when I do do co-hosting, I definitely will invite you to join. Just making chicken cutlets with my mom. And then how about the salad? Should I take the salad out? Yeah, it's, it's in the refrigerator, yeah. All right. I just want to cut up a little garlic. Oh, my goodness. So my dad drinks these eggs, guys. He drinks, eats eggs. Egg whites. I'm dropping everything out of here now. He eats these egg whites, and I was looking for coffee creamer the other day, <laughs> like before I left, before my last trip. And I'm pouring it into my coffee, and I'm like, it's not getting, why isn't it getting white? And I, I poured like half of this bottle into the coffee. Mm -hmm. oh, no. And it, yeah, it, it, and I realized it was, and I had to throw it all out. I don't know if we could have cooked it. Coffee eggs? What do you think? Um, sounds like a. Um... Interesting. Maybe, you know what? Yeah. Maybe we could have made like a cake out of it. Maybe, yeah. Like coffee cake. Yeah. Um, Glenn Nunley said, remember my birthday. Happy birthday, Glenn. Is it your birthday today? That'd be cool if we were live streaming for your birthday. We got the salad and a Pyrex. Alexa, is Pyrex cancerous? Okay, here's Keto Police. Oh. I'm not sure about Pyrex cancerous. Alexa, is old Pyrex bad for you? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, yes. <gasps> oh, why? Because of... Alexa, why is old Pyrex bad for you? The paint, let them paint. Hmm, I don't have an answer I for gotta, that. I gotta look this up. I've been looking up all this stuff about what's good for you, what's bad for you lately. Okay, let's just put this Somebody in. said Pyrex. Thank you guys for sharing. Oh, it's a star party. I don't know what that means. Activate a star party. How do I do that? 
comet scent. Um, all right, I don't know what that means. How do I do a star party? That sounds very fun. I don't know how to do it, but cool. Guys, please do me a favor and share this. Share this to different groups you're in. I know I'm in a bunch of groups, but I'm live streaming, so I can't share right now. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Glenn Nunley said, my phone is broken. Ah. Oh, O Squash said, you and your mom are awesome. It reminds me when I used to cook and my grandpa Kai used to cook. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's. I look forward to cooking with my mother because I learn things. I learn how to how to do things better. And it's really easy. Like, you know, you spend an hour cooking and you kind of save a lot of money, just depending which grocery store you go to nowadays. Because some grocery stores are, you look at the prices and it's crazy. It's like, oh, I might as well just go out to eat. <laughs> like, it's a lot. Oh, what are you doing now, Mom? Um, I'm going to dress up the spinach. Uh-huh. 13 seconds on the chicken cutlets. I'm going to put a little... Um, Olive oil in the uh, spinach. All right. So. James, James said everything is bad. Alexa, stop. James, I agree. It's like it's it, it's just nowadays everything is so dangerous. You don't know what to use. It's craziness. Um, oh, now my dad's asking Alexa <laughs> about about the corning wear. Oh really? Yeah. Hopefully, I don't. My dad. I was doing a live stream one day when I was reading. And that's why he has egg whites now, because we found out that uh, regular eggs can can uh, be bad for can some cancers. It's it's really crazy. I don't know what he's he's now he's asking Alexa in the living room. I feel horrible. Oh boy. What are you doing now, Mom? I'm putting little seasoning. Oh, you gotta flip those. Oh, did, oh, yeah, it went off. Yeah. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes, starting now. It's okay because this one's bigger. They're a little, They're a little heavier, yeah. Yeah. Organic, yes. we got to be all organic nowadays. Just Honestly, there's so much pesticides everywhere. It's terrifying. Even, like, the grass when I walk George... Like I don't want George to go, you know, walking on any pesticides. I'm gonna put a little soy sauce in, in Ooh, to the um, rice. To the rice. Oh, yummy. Uh, more math scissors over there. Let's see. Where did the scissors go? <laughs> He's asking Alexa about all kinds of bowls now. I think I just gave my father a panic attack. <laughs> Well, I mean, I could see maybe the the paint, only, but that's only outside, though. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Gary Earl, for the stars. Thank you. A lot of I love it. Oh, a lot of the things had they didn't check for uh, lead in, in the yeah. paint. Yeah. Oh, the world of Roundup. Yeah, you know it was crazy. Uh, we were. I just. I had just came back with George. I think it was this summer, and there was this giant truck, and it was like chemicals chemicals uh you know this is a chemical alert or something and then i like the, the and and i'm just walking george and i'm like oh no it's like i was in some kind of like alternative universe where the world was ending and there's this giant truck and it just sprayed all these chemicals and i'm holding my breath and i'm holding george's nose and i'm running and i'm running around the block and then the truck came around again to the other block because like because george walks really slow it was just, it was a disaster, and I asked my mom, and they said, apparently, they, they, they're in New York, they're spraying for all kinds of mosquitoes, which I guess it's good if the mosquitoes are dangerous, you know, they transmit viruses, but it's scary for us, we're like, we're like I don't want to be next to this, it's like a giant garbage truck looking thing, with this huge, like, spray thing, like, it was, what is it, what did they, what do they, have you ever been out with the spray things, mom, have you seen it? No, I tried to stay inside, but they didn't, I don't know, they didn't warn us. Yeah. Usually, you don't get warned. It's crazy. Just crazy. Nuts. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sharing. We're making some chicken cutlets, some rice, 
some spinach, and of course my mom's, my favorite, one of my favorite things my mom does is salad. And I don't know how she does her salad, but it's so good. Um, and she's gonna show us after she's done cooking, so you guys better stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, James Lockwood said, kill the bugs, kill ourselves, exactly. Oh, Glenn Nunley said, I destroyed his landmark. Glenn, what, what's your name on Monopoly? I don't know. I don't know who you are on there. <laughs> Sorry. I it's it's funny. I've been playing I've been playing a lot of Monopoly Go. If you don't have the game, use my link to download it. So yeah. We're sitting here. Okay, now we gotta get to the salad. Alright. Are you gonna show us how to do it, Mom? Yeah. I think you gotta Right. Now, the salad I cut up. Oh, you put it right in front of the camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the salad I cut last night. Okay. And um, I'm just going to put a little garlic in. Let me just cut uh -huh. some garlic up. I used to love to have fresh garlic in the salad. And I hadn't done mm -hmm. that for a while. But I think we need a, a oh, garlic. The timer's going off, Mom. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, we could leave that a little longer because it's thicker. It's thicker, yeah. Oh, Alexa, stop. Girl, uh, Earl said made some split pea ham today. How do you oh. make that? That sounds good. What soup? Uh, split pea soup with ham in it? Mm. My mom is cutting up some garlic right now. Looks good. Okay. James Lockwood said plastic everywhere. Yes. How is the ring? From Dan Walker Designs. Very, very good. I love it. Love it, love it. I think, I thought, you know, I, I, somebody else commented his name is Dan Wilcox. And for, I got the W's mixed up. <laughs> I shouted it out as the wrong name at the beginning of the stream. Um, it's, it's good. I was, uh, this is my favorite ring I wear at every stream. I got it at a gifting suite. And I put it on my dad's car a few years ago when I was painting. And he left and I forgot. And it got run over and I sent it back to Dan who's in Canada and he was able to fit it for me, which was amazing. Just super lucky, super lucky. So my mom just put some, how much oil did you put on there? Oh, I counted it two. I went like one, two. one, two. Okay. My mom and her like looking by, you know. Excuse me, this is basil. Basil, one, two, three, four, five. That's a healthy And amount. I was thinking maybe of using some of this since. Oh. This is from the summer. Some real basil. Yeah. Oh, that plant's doing good still. Mmm, it still smells beautiful. I wonder if we can put it in dirt, Mom. You think we should try to put it in I'm dirt? wondering, yeah. I was thinking of that. Okay, so the only thing, can you just move this phone because I want to put that that wonderful garlic mixture. Oh, where should I move the phone? Which, this well, one? Yeah, I just need that one. Okay. Sorry. Oh, it's garlic pepper. Yeah. And it has salt in it, too, so Ooh. it takes care of a lot. Uh-huh. Bad stuff for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Mom, I think it's done already. Okay. Where did the other plate go? Let's talk to this. Yeah. I think George needs some of uh <laughs> we'll, we'll get we'll, for George let's see if we can get one of these that was from before so it's cooled down a little bit. Mm -hmm. You can cut up. What what do you think? Um let's see. Is this gonna be enough for him? That's enough, yeah. With, with the um I'm just that gonna, other mixture. Yeah, I'm just gonna wipe it down a little bit and get the oil off of it <laughs> for George. Okay. How long are we on for? Till the food is done. Okay, it's, it's just about ready. I'm gonna eat as soon as this is over. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm like cutting George's up thinking, oh, I want some of this. So, so far it took 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Yeah, so. I only um, talked a lot, you know. So I think that's not bad. Uh-huh. Just cutting George's uh, chicken with some scissors. 
anyone who feeds their dogs <laughs> home cooked food. I think it is the best. I know they have like certain companies you can buy a home fit mix. Like I know Farmer's Dog looks really good. Like I, I dog sat for someone who used the Farmer's Dog and it's really cool because they like print your dog's name on the packaging. It's like looks super fancy. Um, but I like to cook it myself just because it's cheaper and um, gives them some variety. And I've been doing that for like the last, I don't know, how long have we been cooking for George, Mom? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I feel like it's been forever. Yeah, because remember, we tried everything. He's such a picky eater. We tried so many different things for him. Yeah, sometimes he'll he'll go back to eat the dry food, like if he has doggy friends come over. Um, you know, because I like to give him friends. Right now with the dog virus going around, I'm a little scared to have any of George's friends. Even when dogs on the street come up to us, I'm like, ooh, I don't know, there's a dog virus. Um, so I guess we'll see. But, yeah, I've been cooking for him for a while. My mom's been cooking for him. We do different meats, and I try to put vegetables in. I know Judy Morgan has an amazing book um, that basically, like, you know, tells you the best recipes depending on if they have any ailments or their age and, you know, what kind of food or seasonings to put in, supplements to put in, just so they're getting, like, a whole food diet. And a lot of the dog foods have tons of preservatives in them, like, just to keep them on the shelf longer. And it's not really good for them. So, let's see. Oh, my goodness. George, you are having gourmet. Gourmet food for George. Wow. That's great. Yeah, he likes carrots, too, and squash. Well, we have to cook up some. Yeah, oh. Let's see. Does George like the food? Hold on. I think he's a little confused. He's like, wait, why aren't you guys eating? <laughs> oh. What do you think, George? Good? Yummy? No. Oh. He's not pushing it. Oh, boy. George is living the good life. He is lucky. Yes. He's looking at me like, don't video me why I'm eating. All right, George, I'm sorry. I won't do that. All right, Mom, are we done? Oh, some pretty silverware because we have none left. She's getting, she's getting the nice stuff. All right. And what are you going to do with that oil, Mom? Um, I don't know. I'll put it in a little... Uh... I don't want to drop. Imagine if I just drop these all on the floor. That'd be like a funny reel. They're, I think, that, I think my mom You know would what? Me. I kind of measured it pretty good. I don't see much left in there. But. All right. All right, guys. I love you so much. We're going to have a great dinner now. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the stars. You guys are amazing. Uh, you made my day. And I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll get to find the Christmas tree. That's, that's what I have to do. All right. Love you guys. Talk Bye. to you later. Bye.